Okay, for our volume calculation using calculus, we can use an egg. That's what I did for the year 12 student with maths methods. Um, so I've got a, a container of water set up, just a very simple one, and it's starting at about 175 mils. We put the egg in, goes a little bit past 225 so it's, it's about 50 uh, mils volume in the egg. So we can check that with our calculations. So first of all, what you do is you put the egg on a piece of paper and just do an outline of the egg shape. Uh, I've just done it very roughly. And um, I've also got a lot of the numbers here that I've simplified because they'll be a lot, quite a bit bigger in real life. Um, once you've got these points here, then you can join them up and um, you can come up with a rough equation. You can use Excel to come up with a better one, but it'll probably be something with an X term and sort of higher power. Uh, you can add a lot of a lot more terms to get it more accurate, but uh, and there is a way to do it with the matrices that will give you um, that will minimize the error with this polynomial, but you just do it roughly. Um, now, just looking at this side of the egg, uh, you can actually redraw this curve so it's easier. You can, you can flip it over and start at zero and have it going out to the same Y point. Um, so then we put it into, a, into the integral. Um, so what we're actually doing, we're taking little slices along here and each slice is the area of a circle, which is pi y squared. And um, so that's what we've got here. We've got y term squared um, times pi. And then we're also integrating between, we're taking the integral all the way from 0 to 1.5, to, uh, to 1 cross x. And we get down to this term here when we've expanded it out. Then we'll take the integral, increase the powers, and put the power on the bottom. And um, then we work it out and gives you rough, roughly the right answer. So, um, and then you add up, do the same for the other side and add those two together. And that's basically it.